Standard 9th Political Science, Chapter Number 4, The United Nations. The short form will be UN. Now, what we are going to learn in this chapter is that the United Nations is an international organization which was established to ensure peace and security at the international level. It works for maintaining the peace between two countries and also enhancing the security at the international level. We will be studying the objectives, what are its works, its principles, the structure, what it is made of and the role of United Nations in securing peace, how it will be achieving its goals. Now, if we go to the background of the United Nations, we come to know that two world wars were fought at the start of the 20th century. The start of the 20th century means the 1900s. 1901, 1910, that is called as the start of the 20th century. Life and property were destroyed on a large scale in these wars. Many people lost their lives. Many people died. Those who were alive, they had suffered great losses in the form of their property. As a result, the League of Nations was established after the First World War and the United Nations was established after the Second World War out of a realization that there has to be a mechanism to establish world peace so that such world wars are not fought again. After the First World War, League of Nations was established, but it was not able to achieve its goal. It was not able to maintain peace in the world. And that is why the Second World War was fought. After which, United Nations was established and till today, as of now, it has been successful in avoiding a major war, a major world war breaking out. The League of Nations did not succeed at all. But after the use of the nuclear weapons in the Second World War, the idea took root that such destructive wars should be stopped and that it is the collective responsibility of all nations to do so. So when the First World War was fought, League of Nations was established. It was a complete failure because it was not able to stop the Second World War from taking place. During the Second World War, as we all know, the United States of America, the, um, the US, had bombed Hiroshima and Nagasaki, which are in Japan, with nuclear bombs. The effect, the effect of the nuclear bombs was so destructive that even today, the children that are born in these areas, they are physically handicapped. The bad effects of the nuclear bombs is long lasting. Over a period of tens of hundreds of years, it keeps on continuing. So to stop such destructive wars, the United Nations was established to instill this understanding among all nations that war is not the solution. It only brings destruction. Chronology of the establishment of the United Nations. Now chronology means how did it happen? Over a period of years, what happened first? What was followed later? All these things we will be understanding now in this paragraph of how the United Nations was developed. The Atlantic Treaty was signed between Prime Minister of England, Sir Winston Churchill and American President Franklin D. Roosevelt during the Second World War on 14th August 1941. Now, Atlantic Treaty. Treaty is an understanding, an agreement between two countries. Here, the two countries are England and America. And the Prime Minister of England was Sir Winston Churchill whereas the American president was Franklin Roosevelt and the date was 14th August 1941. This particular statement, uh, mark it up, it may appear as an MCQ for one mark. According to this treaty, a decision was taken to set up a permanent mechanism to establish international security after the Second World War was over. 
Detailed discussions followed on this decision in two conferences among allied powers in 1944 and 1945 and a draft of the treaty to establish an international organization was prepared. Now, conference means a meeting was held to discuss on the decision, whatever decision they had taken to make a permanent mechanism, they met and they talked about it two times after a gap of three years. After 1941, when the treaty was signed, they first met in 1944 and the next year, again in 1945, they met to bring out a plan of how to do this particular work, how to achieve this goal of setting up an international organization to maintain peace in the world. At San Francisco in America, representatives of 50 countries drafted the Charter of the United Nations after discussions. See, this is very important. Now, all the countries of the world, the major countries of the world who were thinking about maintaining peace in the world, they were invited, they took part in the discussions and everyone agreed of how to go ahead about this. As soon as the war got over, the charter was signed on 24th October 1945 and the United Nations was established. See, to maintain peace, to come up with an organization to maintain peace, it took four years. When they first talked about this in 1941, they started the mechanism, they started the procedure and to bring everyone on the table, to make every country or the major, major countries sign on the document, it took four years and the charter was signed on 24th October 1945. Charter means the document, the agreement document. The United Nations is an international organization of sovereign nations. Sovereign means independent. Now, the objectives of the United Nations, what role does the organization have in maintaining the peace and security? The United Nations is the world's largest international organization. This will again come as a one mark question MCQ. Which is the organization which is the world's largest international one? United Nations is the answer. Please mark it up. In the beginning, only 50 countries were members of the United Nations, whereas today, this number has gone up to 193. So the importance of the United Nations is increasing. More and more countries are joining in because every country wants peace. No country wants to war fight a war. Because it only brings destruction. All these member nations come together on the platform of the United Nations. The United Nations has its own definite objectives. Now, what are the objectives? What are the things that it wants to achieve? The United Nations has its own definite objectives. Briefly, the United Nations takes up all necessary measures for establishing international peace. Which are these measures? To establish friendly relations among nations. Whenever two nations are coming to the brink of war, United Nations steps in and makes them agree for peace, makes them understand to come to terms with peace. Second, to enhance international security by solving international disputes. Now, international disputes means one country is not ready to accept the border which was agreed till now. We can see recently India and China are at loggerheads. They are not in agreement with each other. Both are disputing about the border which was agreed upon till now. Also, we are having international problem with Pakistan. Those are border issues. To safeguard and foster human rights and freedom. Now, this problem.